Yeah. Urban to Airbnb with Sun Sun 752. This is your daily go get number 398 for November 5th, 2015. All right. Today we're going to do a little something different. Just a little something different. I, we ain't going to go all the way off the beaten path. But I've been having an argument lately about who had the better song. Now, this is some old school shit. Now, we talk about James Ingram and we talking about Jeffrey Osborne. Who y'all think was the better singer? Come on. Now, you know, James Ingram was always, a, well, he wasn't always a soloist, but I can't remember the name of the group that he was with. But y'all know Jeffrey Osborne was with LTD. And one of his most famous songs, even though it was a pop song, but, but a ballad nonetheless, was On the Wings of Love. And James Ingram had a ballad that was a pop ballad, but nonetheless very good, called Just Once. Which one y'all think was better? Alright, wait a minute. First, chill. First, we're going to play On the Wings of Love. Y'all remember this? You know what I'm saying? Jeffrey be kicking it. You know what I'm saying? He's hot. He's hot. You know what I mean? On top of the world. Hit, this, hit record. He had other hits. Just smile for me. And let the day begin. Huh? Huh? You are the sunshine that lights my heart with its digital baby. I. And I'm sure I. that you're an angel in the sky. Just once. By my man. James Ingram. This was the joint. Remember in, in last American version they played this? Made me like, ah. Ah. <laughs> I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Cause here we are back where we were before. Yeah, baby. Seems nothing ever changes. We're back to being strangers. And wondering if we ought to stay or head on out the Who gonna win? Who gonna win? I'm saying it, it, that ain't easy. You know, if you can't decide, I, I know how I'd be. But those are two songs, those are two singers. What's good? Other than that, I wanted to talk to y'all about trust issues. People always talking about, I got trust issues. Yeah, I'm, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It would be easier for me to let go and really, really, you know, do what, what I need to do with you or with them with whatever, but I got trust issues. I've been hurt when I was young, you know what I mean? It was something that happened to me in the past where I put my trust in the hands of somebody else and they violated my trust and I was never able to fully recover from that. I mean, it sounds like an excuse, but a lot of people have suffered with this thing, you know. Regret is one of the hardest things to live with and we all have regrets. We all have things that we've done back in the day or situations that didn't work out the way we we wish they, they had worked out and we wish that we could go back and, and re rearrange things, rewind things, unsay things, undo things, unsee things, unhear things, unknow things that we have seen, heard, know, done, all that kind of stuff. Life goes on, man. But, you know, when we start talking about trust issues, it's, it's, it's uh, a, a thing that exists in different ways for different people. Whereas, for one person, their trust issues may not allow them to really give themselves fully in a relationship. It may make them hold back from, from expressing themselves or, or, or really giving themselves. Some people are able to give their money. You know, they trust you with their money, but they won't trust you with their heart. And when you really think about it, your heart and your money is sometimes all you really have in this life. I mean, besides the other important things like like family and stuff like that, but we, you know, you know, that sort of falls under the umbrella of your heart, and sometimes your money. But you know, for another person, their trust issues may be that that they're willing to give themselves freely, but at the same time, they wind up getting burned every time. So you have to ask yourself if you are still willing to take that chance to roll the dice to take that gamble. When it comes to your money, your time, your, your, your dedication, your heart, your love, 
do you really have trust issues? I mean, because you may be able to handle it better than another person is able to handle it in that situation, but it doesn't mean that in the back of your mind, you're not stressed out wondering if it's going to if it's going to work out for you this time. Time heals all wounds, but it also it also brings up old wounds and exposes old wounds. You know, just one word or one one sight or one incident can can make old feelings and old things re reoccur and um, you know put us in a bad space. So trust issues. You know, do you have them? Do you have trust issues? Are you in a place in your life where where it's hard for you to really get something going with somebody else because of something that somebody else did to you in the past? Maybe, maybe, and maybe it wasn't um, another relationship that gave you the trust issues, but maybe, maybe something that happened to you when you were a child. You know, because one thing about being a child is children trust. We don't know not to trust. Even when mommy and daddy tell us not to, not to uh, um, speak to strangers or to make sure that we tell a grown up anytime somebody touches us, you know, somewhere that that doesn't seem right, or if, if we see somebody doing something bad, we tell, you know, we, we're told to go tell somebody. You know, we're trying to find a way to trust, but children, children are trusting. You know what I mean? They, you know, they they don't know much. They haven't experienced much, so they, they don't understand how cruel the, of a place the world can be. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that the world is a is an intolerable place, because it's not an intolerable place. But the things that you can tolerate are the things that work within your universe, and your universe is right here, right here in your head. It's right here in your mind, between your ears, right below your uh, the top of your head and, and, and above your chin, you know? It's your mind. And when your mind tells you to do something and you go against that and things don't work up, things don't work out in your favor, it's going to make you really apprehensive about doing it again. And the next time that you do it again may be at the request of somebody that really has your best interest in mind and somebody that that should be able to earn your trust, but maybe because of your experiences, your past experiences, you ain't trying to hear that. You ain't trying to hear none of that. It's rough, man, but, but I will say this. We all got to trust somebody in our lives, and we may not trust them to the letter. We may not trust them enough to give them our our um, account number for, for our bank account. We may not trust them enough to give them our ATM card and tell them, yo, Hold on to the, hold on to this, or 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 um, you know, use it sparingly, but don't 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 break the bank. You know, it's hard to trust people with a, with a blank check, so to speak. But we, metaphorically speaking, when you when we talk about giving somebody a blank check, that is the ultimate trust. So, how many times have you given somebody a blank check in your life? <clears throat> All of your heart. All of your money, all of your time, all of your dedication, all of the things that you consider to be important and dear to you. How many times have you put that in somebody's hand? Gave them a blank check of your life. And what they do with it? If they did the right things, they may not, they may not, you know, do you in totally. But you know, the smallest scar can cause a lot of damage. It's like a paper cut. Paper cut won't let you bleed out, but boy, it will irritate you every time you move it, move, you know, the surface of where that paper cut is. And talk about a small injury. If you do cut an artery, you can bleed out easily. Just bleed right on out. So we got to be careful. You know, the people that we allow ourselves to trust, and even when we are entrusted to somebody else. We have to watch ourselves. We have to watch our own actions. Sometimes we the ones that can't be trusted. And we might not even know that. Especially if we're on drugs <clears throat> or abuse alcohol or have um, emotional or some kind of, you know, uh, mental instability problems. You can make really, really bad mistakes. But we have to trust somebody. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I would say be as careful as possible when it comes to your heart and the things that you do trust. 
but find somebody that you can trust. Give them a test. You know, you don't have to give anybody a blank check off the gate. But find somebody that you feel like you do love and that you do trust. Somewhere in that balance. Very few things in life are totally, perfectly balanced. You know what I mean? But if you can at least get it to a livable situation, I mean, chances are you're going to be alright. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard. Go for yours. And remember, man, trust issues are all right to have. It just means that you are protecting yourself. And there's never anything wrong with protecting yourself. You know, you are the only self that you have. And the more that you preserve it, take care of yourself, then the better things will work out for you. So don't don't feel bad because you didn't give everybody or somebody the keys to the safe. They might not, they might not have earned that. Who is that? Be telling you, you got to trust them. No, you ain't got to do nothing. You make somebody earn their trust. And if they don't want to stick around long enough to earn it, then that's on them. That's on them. Because you have your past issues to deal with. And you have your present situation to deal with. Now, if they want to be part of that present situation, as long as you don't abuse them by the, by the standards of the things that have happened to you in the past, you'll be all right. Be all right, man. Don't worry about me. You'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Yo, don't forget about the Mind Right Body Better Fitness Program this Saturday, November 7th, 2015, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 400 East Ontario Street on the corner of Ontario and D Street at the McVeigh Recreational Center. Come through, get your workout on, meet some great people, get some fly-ass literature, you know, learn how to eat better, live better, feel better. You know what I'm saying? Change your life around for the better because that's what it's about. Mind, right, body, better, fitness, program, urban, therapy, with sun, daily, go, did them, ism, the hood is our health. Now back to this, this the comparison thing. Who's better? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Jeffrey. Gotta pay homage to Jeffrey. Let's get, let's get to it. Get, get in there. Get in there, Jeff. The only way to die is all the ways of love. What's it gonna be, y'all? Y'all watch the video, man. Write it in. Write it in. We here for y'all, man. Let's get some comments popping off. You know what I'm saying? They both dope, right? I'll let y'all later. Base. Download this song, man. Go to YouTube and download. Download this song. Y'all are hot.